trying to get over why he calls himself Black Jesus. Black Jeez, Mike. Like, oh, jeez. Like, oh, jeez. I'll tell you what, guys. This is a match that I've looked forward to ever since it was announced about 20 minutes ago. Just kidding. It was announced a few days ago via Facebook. I'm telling you, Black Jeez, highly decorated, had a run in TNA. He also had a few matches in, in WWE. This is going to be a great match, and what a test for him. Mr. Excellence on his return to PPW is getting TNA star Black Jeez. I I'm excited. I don't know about you guys. Well, I checked my pants. They're okay. Black Jeez has taken on some of the best wrestlers on the independent circuit. Name today. drop. Claudio Castagnoli, who some of you might know as Cesaro in WWE. He used to team with Eddie Kingston, took on Chris Hero, took on the Osirian Portal. What about uh, Suka the Brisco what, Brothers? What about Suka Mimas? I don't know who that is, Mike. I'll tell you what, I mean, Black Jesus has been all around the world. Content, different continents he's wrestled. The guy is very, very athletic. Definitely a high flyer. I I'm looking forward to it. It's got shoulder there. Brandon Scott reverses with a drop. Toho gets in front, but Black Jesus right back on top. Good. Black Jesus rolls up Brandon Scott for a one count. You're not going to take Brandon Scott down that easily, Mike. I'm just wondering if he's a little rusty because he's been he's been gone for two months. I don't see any signs of ring rust in this young man. He well, he is conditioned. He, because he hasn't only been wrestling in PBW, he's been wrestling all along the East Coast, in the South, in the Mid-South, and now in the Northeast with PBW. Brandon Scott, Brandon Scott has actually teamed up in a tag team match with Jake the Snake Roberts, Matt Hardy, to name a few. Um, he wrestled with Billy Gunn. Brandon's been in some big matches. And this is a big one here. Both men trying to prove themselves here at PBW. Brandon Scott applies the side headlock. Black Cheese fights off, throws him off the ropes, and a big shoulder block from Brandon Scott. Black Cheese up and over. Brandon Scott too smart for that one. Oh my God! And Black Cheese stops short and hits him with the drop kick. Throws Brandon Scott to the mat for a two count. Oh, this is Black Jesus a lot more quicker than I anticipated, EJ. Oh my Woo! God! What a chop from Black Jesus, and he's only getting started, Mike. You can see the welts forming from here. His chest is bright red. Woo! Those welts are certainly going to take their toll later on in the match. And he decides against the chop and grabs him in the pectoral area. Wow. I guess you're politically correct, DJ. Brandon Scott kicks out at two. He's having a tough time with Black Jesus here. Perhaps he underestimated his opponent. I'm sure he's well scouted. Black Jesus is well known on this in on the independent circuit. Scott again kicks out at two. He's still in this one. He has a lot left in the tank. He might not be on top of this match now, but it's just a matter of time before he turns the tides. Brandon Scott is Mr. Excellence for a reason. Brandon Scott into the corner. Sidesteps Black G's and Black G's goes careening into that ring post. That's what you get when you face a veteran in the ring and Brandon Scott. You know he's gonna play possum for a little bit and then eventually take itself in. He saw his opportunity and capitalized on it. And now the action pours outside the ring as Dan Marsh begins the 10 count. Really surprised that Marsh knows how to count the 10. He failed the fourth grade three times. Did you see the stiff kick to the midsection that Brandon Scott just delivered to Black Cheese, and now he rams him into that guardrail? Not to interrupt you guys, Daniel Marsh is counting. Do you think he can count actually to ten? Oh my God, He's Paul! They get huh. back in the ring before he has to get that. High. Wow, Paul, where were you when I just said that ten seconds ago? I'm sorry, I was talking to Straight Cash Julio Trinidad. Big Daddy Cash. 
That is Big Daddy Cash. And now Brandon Scott, giving Black Cheese a taste of his own, has him in that corner. Black Cheese off the ropes. Brandon Scott goes down. Big drop kick from Brandon Scott. I'll tell you what, no one executes a drop kick as good as Brandon Scott. That's fabulous. He just sent Black Cheese to Jerusalem on that one. Sent him to Golgotha. Don't know where that is. Right next to Jerusalem. You know what? One thing is to tell you about me and EJ, we know our geography. And our Bible. Anyway, Brandon Scott with that rear chin lock. Locked in deep on black cheese. And like I said, some of these moves may appear simple, but they are very devastating when they are applied by someone who knows what they are doing. Black cheese fights out with a jawbreaker off the ropes, and he stopped with a big knee to the midsection. That must have hurt, EJ. What do you think about that one? Absolutely. That seems to be Brandon Scott's strategy in this match. He has been pinpointing that midsection. Oh, and there's the elbow. And now he's pinpointing the forehead of Black Cheese. <laughs> Rick. Black Cheese into the corner and Brandon Scott with the European uppercut. Nice move there. Bounces him off the top row for the suplex. What an excellent move that one by Mr. Excellence. That's it, it looks like he's setting him up. For the padded elbow drop here, wait till you see the clearance he gets on this maneuver. He is all the way upstairs. Black G's better do something quick and he moves out of the way. Wow. Talk about a tight turner right there. Talk about scouting your opponent. He knew it was coming and he got out of the way just in time. There's one guy that uses a, th a thesaurus correctly. are exchanging haymakers in the middle of the ring. You know, there's nothing fancy going on in this match. This is straight wrestling. That's that southern style Brandon Scott is bringing to the ring straight from Virginia. Black Kings fights back with a clothesline and another chop. Black Kings up and over, off the ropes. Ducks the clothesline, catches the oh. fist. Beautiful uppercut there by the Jesus, man. Fireman's carry into a backbreaker. That has to be it. Brandon Scott kicks out. Both of these guys have taken a beating throughout this match. I don't know who's going to win, EJ. This, this is, is a very, very physical matchup. Oh. And here comes Brandon Scott again out of the corner. What is it going to take to keep this bad? There's That's the Hawkeye of Daniel Marsh spotting his feet under ropes. I can't believe he even saw it. Do you think Marsh has lifters in his shoes? Oh! And there's the low blow from Brandon Scott. How didn't Dan Marsh see that? He was right there. EJ, I didn't see anything. I guess he couldn't see over Brandon Scott. Probably not. Of course, he couldn't see over a cinder block. Again, Brandon Scott goes to the top rope. Oh, oh my God! That's right it! Down. You can count to 100! That has to be it. Two, three, watch! <laughs> I will call that an upset. Some may call it an upset, others may call it, I knew it.